More dogs in the vlogs. More dogs in the vlogs. It's not an outright rest, it's just lower volume. When will I give you a try? This is my good morning Trainiacs take two. First take, I didn't have the mic plugged in. Bound to happen. Today is the day that I do the bike that knocked me on my absolute ass last week and I couldn't even finish half. Well, I finished half, but it wasn't pretty. I run later today, but three days of rest, I am feeling so good. How about everyone's personality coming back at the pool yesterday? We're all on rest week right now. Give a gang two days of rest and everyone all of a sudden turns fun again. I can't imagine how much of a bunch of dinks we were last week. This bike is very similar to last week, but instead of 70 minutes total, it's 40 minutes in total. And instead of 40 minutes of hard work, it's 16 minutes of hard work. As I mentioned all week, it's not an outright rest, it's just lower volume. All right, when I get to the office, I wanna talk about missing workouts. The approach and the mindset that you take with missing a workout is kinda of similar to rest week. Bike time now. Woo-wee! I don't know if I call that easy peasy, but it was certainly more tolerable than last week. It's just at freezing outside, so instead of being like minus two in here, it's actually about 10 degrees. That high cadence stuff at the end is really nice to flush the legs after doing the high power zone four stuff where you typically end up mashing a fair bit and spinning the legs at the end kind of gets those legs nice and snappy fast again. I think I'm really just breathing hard for effect. I'm fine. You guys know that what's up here, the little fluffies? That's the microphone. You can see it when I turn the GoPro to super view. I think I'm gonna call this rig Harry. Mega shake now, off to the office. All right, gang, as promised, I wanna talk about what happens when you miss a workout. And it's kind of similar to how you've got to approach rest week in that, I don't know, in my mind, I justify it as similar because rest week is actually where you get faster and Missing a workout doesn't necessarily make you faster, but certainly what doesn't make you faster is building up and stacking your workouts and pushing them back into days because you miss them on other days. So I guess what I'm getting at is this week on Valentine's Day, I had an evening run planned. No Triathlon Kim is working early mornings, getting into radio station at 4.15 and going to bed at eight. So we had to go and do our Valentine's dinner a little bit early, got in the way of my evening run. So I missed it. I could have pushed that Tuesday run into Wednesday because I didn't have a Wednesday evening run. But the approach that I take is that if you miss a workout, it's gone. You can't make it up because days in a proper training program are designed to go the way that they're supposed to go. They're written out in that fashion to give you a proper amount of work on that day. And if you take workouts from other days and stack them into future days, you're ruining those future days. It's not like you can look at each individual workout in isolation and say, you know what, well, I just, I missed it yesterday, so I'm gonna make up for it today. That's a really good way to dig yourself a hole because you're putting in more work on those future days than you intended to have or your coach intended to have or your body can handle. So if you miss a workout, it's gone. Forget about it. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Remember, the fastest you can get is by being consistent. It's not by smashing yourself over and over and over. Sure, that might make you fast in the short run, but triathlon should be a long game. Getting fast should be years and decades in the making. And if you overtrain, you make yourself sick, you get injured, you're never gonna be as fast as you can if you do years and years of consistent work. So that said, we got some extra time here today. I've had this little care package sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks and I forget what it is. A quench bottle. Okay, this is all from Knack Fitness. Very grippy, indestructible bottle. Knack Fitness compression sleeves. I gotta go back into the Instagram stories and see when this came and why it's here. Okay, this was sent to me 
by Drew from Knack Fitness. Got some compression sleeves. He says that the goggles are a big push for them. Let's have a look at these babies. All right, Knack Fitness, you've given me a pair of mirrored goggles, which is actually good because I don't have a pair of mirrored goggles that I really like. And coming into open water swim season, these mirrored goggles will be really nice for racing when it's sunny and there's lots of glare on the surface of the water. So these mirrored goggles, I would say are kind of similar to like the Roka F2 full view mirrored goggle. Not bad. Oh, Comfort Tech goggles, there we go. 15 bucks for these, which is a far cry from I think the 40 that the Rokas are. Let's see how those go. Apparently the compression sleeves are fairly popular because that's a uh, autocomplete in Google. So a lot of people searching for those. Those are compression sleeves from Knack Fitness. When will I give you a try? I'll give you guys a try maybe this weekend here after I do a long run comes in black and blue. Only 14 bucks for these. Oh yeah, that's what Drew was saying. Yeah, their whole thing is really good stuff, but not for a very expensive price. So I haven't tried any of it out, but thanks Knack Fitness. Okay, I have a short, probably be about a 25, 30 minute run that we're gonna get to later today. A threshold treadmill run. So I'll see you for that. I'm back at everyone's favorite training facility for a, it's kind of just a short threshold run. Odd thing is that I've only been here once in the last four days and I feel like, like an absent friend, colleague, weird endurance lover, pal. I don't know, I've got the same damn issue as last week. It's like every Thursday there's an announcement put out that everyone needs to go get on Terrence treadmills. Fun tidbit, Harry has a new setup with a more reasonable base with the tripod. Check this out. That's you and that's the new tripod. I had this big thing before that wasn't very reasonable for a GoPro. Okay, I'm gonna go warm up on the track and then go throw my weight around those treadmills. Just between you and me, people who walk on treadmills while there's a perfectly good track 20 feet away deserve a case of adult chicken pox. Easy, I gotta say. Except at the start, I haven't run since Sunday and I swear my body feels like a rusted up lawn chair after being left out in the rain. I took some warming up. Okay, get this. It's Winnipeg and it's light out and I'm done for the day. In Winnipeg, this means it's 1.30 in the afternoon. Not quite. Okay, see ya.